From our hotel, we were in line with a church tower with the one word name, Christ. The English had placed explosives in the church and detonated it, killing all attending mass during the war and blamed the Luftwaffe. It was not the policy of the Luftwaffe to bomb Christian churches during World War II, as the pilots were all Christian. From our window, all that remained was the tower. I noticed between the tower and our window a car park and a Methodist church. Fiji is also dominated by Methodists. They build churches on satanic latitudes and longitudes, getting the natives to pay for it. This is the Methodist church opposite Christ. The roof of this Methodist church is the altar to the Lord from Isaiah 19 verses 19 and 20, my altar. But in the Old Testament, the altar is the earth, where sacrifices of blood was ordered by Lucifer to kill a bullock and pour the blood into the trough around the altar and place it on the four horns. The area bathed in blood is the four corners of the earth itself. The animals are the goy. Everyone, including Freemasons, they get to fight wars for them, Israel. This is what it is all about. Get the stupid Christian Freemasons to kill each other in wars. Exodus 29.12 And thou shalt take of the blood of the bullock and put it upon the horns of the altar with thy finger and pour all the blood beside the bottom of the altar. And you see Jesus ordering this abomination. In the Caiaphas report I said not all of the Levites together are worth the life of the animal. Levites were the priestly tribe. Any wonder they wanted me dead. Pilate was my friend who cried with Joseph Arimathea. He had found waiting for him. They wept together even though they were strangers. Then Joseph asked Then Joseph, when asked who he was, answered my uncle who had come to him, that is Pilate, to beg my body. None of this is in the Bible. The location was strategic, a hidden sacrifice, until Ash booked online our accommodation from another hotel, the Grand Burston. It was here we were approached by MI5 agents. The hotel itself smoked stench, the recruiting ground for a remake of Star Wars. How these strange shaped people conclude they are a superior race defies logic. Ash, Mrs. Marshall made the arrangement to move from the Grand Burston to this one where we were given the room, looking directly over the remains, a church tower simply called Christ. In this room, is where the event of the sun reversal was observed. The setting sun returned from the west to set eastward in the north, almost a circle. We're on the fourth floor. Here is that reversal happening. And it reversed from the left side of the frame to come back, moving eastward after having already set out of the window frame and ended up sitting between the two buildings there, one and two, with the Christ Church Tower to the right. And here it is, it was 8.30 p.m., June the 8th, 2013. Sun set west and then moved back eastward. Sun is setting from the west towards the east. We observed the sunrise in the east was almost Horizontal will then climb and at noon be above our location. Then mid-afternoon curve northward to return westward and set, and that should be eastward, to set between the buildings. Now from Europe, the pole star is no longer in the night sky. The earth has started to tip over and presently is wobbling from between 50 degrees north to 40 degrees north. It should be 90 degrees north. The next drawing shows somewhat what it looks like from space. Back in Rome, we plotted the path of the new moon. It, according to our astronomy program, places Rome on the new equator. The reason for this axis shift is the Milky Way galaxy. The centre is Hearn Bay. This new North Pole axis endangers all of the Northern Hemisphere. 
as the tilt is also altered from 23.4 degrees vertical to 17.818 degrees. This means as the Earth moves inward towards the closest pass of the Sun, January 11, 2014, then the heat will be climbing unless the dwarf Sun causes a saturation of its light. 155 degrees Fahrenheit was reported in the USA throughout July. In the beginning of July, it was just uh, days ago. Now, December 11, 2011, the Earth crossed back from the southern side to the northern side of the Milky Way galaxy, the north where creation took place. One can te test this by draining water down a sink. If you're in the north, the water will turn counterclockwise, and in the south, clockwise. The reverse of what it was turning prior to the 11th of December 2011. Now, returning to Rome, we observe the axis shifted 10 degrees plus or minus, and Rome would be on the equator. Then we have our disciples reporting the weather either being extremely hot or very cold. Few locations are normal. Now, this little girl in the picture is my mother, Mary, reincarnate. Her mother conceived without a male, and she, Rhiannon, was also conceived without a male. Trinity Lee, born the 21st of February in 2004, is my mother, Mary. She had to be returned to the earth by the conception within the daughter of Mary Magdalene, named Rhiannon. She herself, a conception within her mother, Mary Magdalene, whose name today is Michelle Sheila Nye. She, that is Michelle, told me she and her husband were not having intercourse when Rhiannon was conceived, making a joke of it at the time. As said, Michelle is the reincarnate of Mary Magdalene, my former wife in Jerusalem. However, my offspring was all about the royal line, and as we were essing, the law was that if an older sister could not conceive, the younger would take her place, and this was Martha, who gave birth to twins on the 18th of October in 33 AD in Cornwall, England. She, having gone there on my instruction before I ascended, she travelled on one of the ships owned by Joseph of Arimathea, my uncle. He, one of the wealthiest men at the time, who traded tin in Palestine. The proof of my family in this life are in the dates they were reborn as follows. Michelle is 1162.6 days younger than I. Her daughter Rhiannon is 11.626 years younger than my first daughter Tracy Lee. Both born in towns where the sunrise, the sun set for the, the days that they were born was 888 minutes. Tracy was conceived on July the 27th when Jupiter was over Port Alberni for 888 minutes. It is 88,800 miles wide and I was 8,880 days old when she was born on May the 4th, 1968. Her mother I married when I was 1162.6 weeks old. The antechamber in the pyramid is 116.26 pyramid inches wide. At 1162.6 weeks, I was 22.28 years old, which is the same height of the highest mountain in Australia at 228, sorry, 2228 metres, and that's Mount Kosciuszko. My youngest daughter, Nicole, is 777 days older than Rhiannon. There are 777 verses with the word city in the 1611 KJV Bible. 777 days is 2.127 years. Michelle was 32.75 years old when Rhiannon was born. That number, 3275 and 2127 in Hebrew, 
are solitary numbers found once in 609,000 words of the Old Testament. And yet what are the odds these numbers are found side by side in 1 Chronicles 5.13, quoting, And their brethren of the house of their fathers were Michael and Meshulam and Sheba and Jorai and Yakan and Zia and Heber 7. These names have concordance numbers of 43, 17, 49, 18, 76, 52, 31, 40, 32, 75, 21, 27, and 56, 77. Added together, total 31106, which is 31101 plus 5. 31101 being the Julian day I was born on, 2431101. And the five is the number listing for father in the Greek concordance. In the king's chamber, we measure the distance from the grand gallery to the far wall, then to the centre of the coffer, then to the ceiling, and multiply by a lunation of 29.53052 days. It equals 31101, matching the verse total of the KJV 1611. 31101 verses. The diagram, the length of the antechamber, 116.26, equal to the diameter of a circle, the sum, circumference is 365.2424 pyramid inches, and of course that is the number of days in a solar year. Grand gallery to the centre line, displacement factor to 86.1. Offer to the far wall, adding them and then multiplying by a lunation. Now what I am showing you here is the tip of the iceberg. In fact, I have so much proof I'm the creator, no human mind can comprehend it. Now in this diagram, these are the homes where I was reborn. One saying Brian Birth, and then my first wife's home, that's Eileen, and then my home with Michelle in Victoria, Australia. From top right, my rebirth to Michelle, lower left, is 777.7 kilometres. The three sides total 1471. Of course, all these distances are as the crow flies. Leading to Luke 2.5, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And the word child is 1471 from 1722. And the base of 2949, swelling inside, that is pregnant, great with child. Now lightning struck the statue of Jesus in Rio on February the 11th, Rome time, 2008. Four years later, Pope Benedict XVI tendered his resignation, the same date, February 11, 2013. This is the Milky Way equator that we crossed on December 11, 2011. This is what caused the Earth to tilt. The North Magnetic Field is repelled by the North Magnetic Field of the Galaxy and is why the new solar system is here, to save the world from burning up. Reading from Isaiah 13.10, For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light, the sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Isaiah 60.19, The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. But the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God thy glory. Then Ezekiel, and when I shall put thee out, I will cover the heaven and make the stars thereof dark. I will cover the sun with a cloud, and the moon shall not give her light. Matthew twenty four twenty nine. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. The stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Mark 13, 24, but in those days, 
After that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. Now here we have the time span between Pope Benedict XVI's birthday, 16th of April 1927, until the Christ's 70th birthday on January 11, 2014. A period of time between, uh, or, or date to date, is 31682 days or 4526 weeks. Now Australia is eight hours ahead of Germany. I was born at 2.22 a.m. Benedict XVI will have lived 3168 zero days between our birthdays. 31682 days is 86.74 years. And that number, 8674, is the total words in the King James 1611, as per James Strong's 1830 exhaustive concordance. That's in the Old Testament. Okay, so I'll just end here and come back.